Hey guys, it's Azaz here, and I'm going to be showing you the Sky Sports TV show based on an Empower competition I won called What's Your Goal back in May 2011 last year. I won the chance to become a sports photographer and be mentored by John Zibley, who's such an experienced photographer and now a good friend of mine. The show also features another winner of the competition, Ollie, of whom I did meet on the same day at Wembley. I know he had as much fun as I did, even though we were put under pressure at times. But overall, it was a great experience for me, and yeah, I hope you enjoy watching it. What's your goal in association with NPAL? Football is British sport's biggest employer, with a workforce of thousands on and off the pitch. We recently offered young sports fans the opportunity of a lifetime. A chance to get first-hand experience in just some of those jobs which help make the beautiful game tick. Like calling the shots as a live television producer. One more question to come. Or in front of the camera presenting a football show for Sky Sports TV. And I'm here live at Fratton Park. Go pitch side as a photographer shooting all the action at Wembley. To be with the referee on playoff day at Old Trafford. Good decision. Helping a league club to make money as a business manager. Try not to let the pressures of the job get to me yeah. too much. And to be a football manager with a top championship football club. Hundreds of young people from schools around the country applied to be part of the beautiful game. Come on! Come on! In this series, we follow six of the winners, all of them passionate about their chosen roles. They'll need to be on their game to emulate the success of their brilliant mentors. This time our winners are 14-year-old Azaz Hussain from Surrey, who will be shooting with the best sports photographers at a Wembley final. and 12-year-old Ollie Marden from Tunbridge Wells. If you look through there, you can see... Looking on cue to being the future in sports TV presenting. What do you think of the first half then? Certainly entertaining. They found their goal. In the next half hour, you might also just find out what's your goal. John Sibley is one of Britain's top sports photographers. He's covered just about every major football match around the world over the past 20 years. A great photo really has to sum up the match. You want something that captures the event that's happened that day, the emotion. You've got to try to tell the story of 90 minutes in one or two pictures. Oh, it's Azaz is football mad and plays for his local youth team. His video showed his passion to photograph the game he loves. I'm always 100% focused on whatever I do, so I always keep my eye on the main thing. I'll quickly flick through my art journal. I've always wanted football. Football's a big passion for me. Oh, art and photography is as well. And putting them together seems really, really good. And it was whilst training with his football team on a common in Mitcham, South London, that the chance to live his dream to be a sports photographer got that little bit closer. There is as congratulations. You have won the sports photographer role in this year's What's Your Goal competition. You never told me they were the... I was waiting for him to come to me. Oh, I'm so proud, darling. OK, OK. The first thing Azaz does is meet his mentor, John Sibley, at his London offices. Hey, you all right? Hi, it's Azaz. Yeah, hi. Good to meet you, I'm John. Yeah, good to meet you, too. Azaz is about to find out he has an amazing assignment. Wow, it's massive. Yeah. <laughs> he and John will be photographing the biggest league match of the season, the championship playoff final at Wembley. We've got two cameras for you, just to make it even more complicated for you. <laughs> this one. Top of the range, professional camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Monday's going to be just a huge game. There's like more than 80,000 people there. The winners get one of the biggest financial rewards. 
any, in any sport in the world. It all comes down to 90 minutes. And the atmosphere is going to be incredible. The noise is going to be incredible. Let's see what's going to happen. It's going to be, it's going to be big. Later, we'll catch up with Azaz and John as they take up their positions pitch side for one of the best playoff finals for years. The next job of a lifetime is the role of TV sports presenter. Sky Sports' highly rated frontman Dave Jones has been the face of live football league for several years. 30 seconds on line eight. His job is to open Sky's featured live matches. It's Manic Monday and the nerves are jangling. Cardiff, kick us off. And, over. and introduce the pundit guests who analyse the game during half-time and after the final whistle. Remember, this is live. There's no script and no auto cue. But Dave is a master of the ad -lib. Let's head across to our match commentators then for our first game of the day, Annie Hinchcliffe and Daniel Mann. Hey, I'm Ollie Martin and I'm 12 years old. I've applied for the role of the TV presenter because I've always been interested in the media side of sport. Ollie is from Tunbridge Wells. His natural presenting abilities seriously impressed the judges. Big on confidence. I can hit my mark. Maturity. I can keep my head under pressure. And a thorough knowledge of football. Let's look organised, fellas. Come on. Nice job. Nice job. That's Kai's. Oh. Ollie, a big Arsenal fan, enjoys playing as much as talking football. Whoa, nice strike, son. Training nights are a weekly ritual. Kai! But this one turns out to be a little different. OK, guys, can you come on in for a second? So, Ollie, there's a little bit of a surprise here for you. It says Ollie Marden on the front. Wait, this is harder than it looks. <laughs> Dear Ollie, congratulations. You've won the TV presenter role in this year's Empower to watch your goal competition. Yeah, oh, sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. Really just a great achievement for him. Fatton Park, the home of Portsmouth FC. The Sky Sports production team are here covering two matches. The first is 100 miles away in Cardiff, one of the top clubs vying for Premier League promotion. Ollie, how are you doing? Hello. Nice I'm... to meet you. I'm David. Thank you. Hey, how So are you? first things first, how old are you? I'm 12. 12 years old, and here you are today, going to teach me how to do my job. <laughs> Hopefully. So we're going to have a, a show you around, look in the studio. So this is the big truck where all the magic happens behind the scenes. There's our studio here. This is where I live. Hi there. there. How you doing? How are you? Okay. Hi. How are you doing? How are you? Okay. It's the first time Ollie has been near a broadcast studio. Even one that's a temporary scaffold structure. First of all, they give us a feed of the game that we're seeing here, and then at half time we'll be looking at the pictures at the same time as you at home will be looking at the pictures. So you like forgot what you're supposed to say? Would you get prompts from behind the camera or something? <laughs> it's a good question. This is all live, you only get one chance. That's all a big right. saying on the Sky Crew. So a very key thing, really, Ollie, is the relationship between you and the producer. As Dave Jones delivers his lines live to the camera, through his earpiece, he has to listen to the producer, preparing him for the next link. Dave, you'll probably get one with Jimmy and one with uh, Steve and then Team News. You said the right thing about Portsmouth because the manager's sitting here. Very it's an extremely difficult skill to learn. Preparations to join us. As any presenter will tell a budding hopeful, looking and sounding good is about preparation. And knowing what you're talking about needs up-to-the-minute research. There's something about Norwich here. Hmm. Simon Jackson is Norwich's secret weapon after going 20 games without striking. Good. Scored two hat-tricks in the last month, which is pretty incredible, really. Especially, like he says, because he went so long without scoring a goal as well. Uh, can I have some sweet corn? Sweet corn. All this grown-up thinking needs some food for sustenance. The crew lunch bus has more than gruel on offer for our Oliver. There you go. Thank you. He'll need all he can get as Dave sets a challenge that Ollie is completely unaware of. He just picks up on one or two things that have really surprised me, actually. Nuances that you wouldn't think a kid of 12 would, would have any thought of whatsoever. We'd like to get him to have a go in front of the camera, see if he can actually deliver a script that he's created himself under a little bit of pressure. 
It's a split audio, there'll be a bit of your voice, David, with a count. Okay. All right, so I've just got to do words before that. Yeah, you've got to buy it. You At the production run through, everyone gets to know their roles for the five hour football fest that is just a couple of hours away. Keep it simple, keep it short. I've literally only got a line and a quarter so far. It's a long line to me. I still haven't really finished it. I've just kind of got the build up of it. Hello, this is me, Ollie Martin. So you can just go straight from Fratton Park into there, just to make it that little bit shorter. Okay. Still more script polishing for Ollie, but the pressure is mounting for Dave too. He needs to prepare for going live, which is just seconds away. Four, three, two, one. And we're on air. Cardiff kick us off knowing they dare not lose, or their automatic promotion hopes could be over. Ollie's mentor Dave Jones introduces the first match between the much fancied Cardiff against underdogs Middlesbrough. With Marl to float it. Lita! Unexpectedly, Middlesbrough score three goals in the first half. I think they're just stunned, aren't they? As is Jimmy, who's watching on here at Fratton Park. Well, cat amongst the pigeons. That. During the halftime studio break, Ollie hopes to score by impressing Dave with his presenting skills. Stand by, Ollie. Coming to you in five. Just like the real thing, Ollie gets a count in for his TV debut delivery. Hello, this is me, Ollie Marden, and I'm here live at Fratton Park. If Cardiff lose today against Middlesbrough and Norwich win, they can take automatic promotion. Also, if QPR get deducted points, then Norwich can take first place in the championship. This is Ollie Martin signing off from Fratton Park. Very good. Do not let my producer see that, because I'll be in trouble. I'll be out of a job. Thanks. Well Bye. done, Ollie. I'll be looking out for you. Thank you. Not too quickly, though. Everything that's happened, pieced together, I think mean, that's been the best part of the day, really, all of it. All that remains of the championship season is a Premier League promotion decider. In part two, Ollie and I are there for the big one. But first, we're on Wembley's turf to co-commentate the Kids' Cup final. And we join Azaz pitch side as he snaps away during an amazing playoff final with the Wembley roar ringing in his ears. What's your goal in association with NPower? What's your goal in association with NPower? We've given two hopefuls the chance of a dream job behind the scenes of football. Oli Marden is on his chosen path to be a TV football presenter. And Azaz Hussain is about to realise his ambition to be a hotshot photographer in the sport he loves. It's Championship Playoff Finals Day. Up for grabs a staggering £90 million to the winner of today's match between Reading and Swansea. For both our winners, being at Wembley for this huge event, it's priceless. Well, lads, so basically, where you are sat now is the best or worst part of your day. What you have to imagine is having a really good or bad day at school and then getting home and telling 100 people about how good or bad it went. That is how pressure-wise this is. Now, if you think a club manager is hard, you think what an international manager has to do. So that's where Fabio Capello sits to speak to the press. So you've got manager and superstar player. How does it feel to win at Wembley Stadium? Amazing. Amazing, fabulous. You went straight into it. It's usually the answer we get as well. Um, are the rumours true about you falling out of a nightclub of the wee small hours of the morning? Was that true? No comment. No comment. Good lad, fantastic. <laughs> Excellently well done. And uh, the final one, of course, is uh, as England prepare for uh, the European Championships in 2012. Is this a competition that England can win? Well, uh, I feel we can <laughs> win it if we try, but we have to try very hard and only if everyone gives 110%. Thank you. That's actually word for word. You boys did better than most managers do, so very well done. The press room at Wembley Stadium. 
It's the place where sports journalists and football pundits hang out pre-match. A perfect place for Ollie and I to meet. We're here 20 minutes before going pitch side to watch a prequel to the big match. So what are your first impressions of Wembley, Ollie? It's huge. Any player playing here is going to be pretty intimidated by all the fans. Do you enjoy presenting? I love it. I think someone said to me, why did I want to get into TV presenting? Why did I want to be a presenter? And I think the key thing for me is I love communicating with people and I love sport. For two young football teams from Leeds and Swansea, this is also their finals day. Seven aside, Six aside. Six aside. The chance to play on the world-famous Wembley turf does not come around very often. These Leeds and Swansea juniors have earned the right to be here through a national knockout competition. The kids come. Great ball, great ball. Swansea had no reply and Leeds held on to their one goal advantage. Hi guys, well done. For Ollie, another challenge in the day of a football presenter, interviewing the winning team captain. Did you enjoy today's game? Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, you looked pretty solid there in the middle. Do you think you were the best player on the team? Um, no, we're all just amazing. So you got your team to thank? Yeah. Everyone say Leeds! <laughs> So, from one photo opportunity to another. Azaz's mentor, John Sibley, has covered dozens of playoffs. So we could go here. Yeah. It's quite so he knows the best positions to get the best shots. They've pitched up near to the goal in front of the Reading supporters. The toss of a coin and attacking play will determine whether Swansea head their end with goal and photo opportunities. This is it, this is what I've been waiting for. So, you got someone in the middle of the pitch, she's running this way. Yeah. You think he's going to take a shot on goal? What you got to do is tuck it into his shoulder, duck down, and then pick that up and take the picture. But well, where would this go if this is going to go on your... Just, when you get used to it, you'll be fine. So swap back now. Come on, it's quick, quick, the guy's about to score. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Swansea and Reading have battled for 10 months for the right to join the Premier League big boys. Oh, right, change lenses. John's instincts proved right. The Swansea attack from the off, heading straight towards our happy snappers. Some of that. Ah, oh, brilliant. It's your first good picture of the game, that. Stay on him and follow him in. For Zaz too, there's a real goal. Oh! 2 now. If he can catch the story of the match in a single photograph, John will forward it to the picture editor's desk of a widely read weekly paper for kids. First news. It's a challenge that Azaz is taking extremely seriously. Meanwhile, Ollie is watching the match unfold from the press box and preparing his half-time report. With just four minutes left of the first half, Swansea strike again. A perfect first half for our photographers. Three Swansea goals in the can, all right in front of their lenses. But what did our budding TV reporter make of the first half? Hello, I am here in the wondrous Wembley Stadium, where a completely one-sided half has just taken place. In the 20th minute, Reading gave away a penalty, which Scott Sinclair converted. Less than a minute. 
minute later, Swansea were 2 0 up and Reading were panicked. 17 minutes later, Dobby slotted one in the left hand corner and Reading were being dominated. Let's see if the underdogs can pull it back for the second half. Isaz and John certainly got the best end of the action in the first half. They're about to find their luck held with a dramatic recovery from Reading. And the weather reined in from the kickoff. Oh! 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 Reading fight back by scoring twice. Swansea's one goal lead is looking fragile. You couldn't even tell it was the team that was playing last half. They're completely on top. Here comes Alan Tate. Farini, challenge. And another penalty kick for Swansea. Why, why, why? Swansea seal the playoff victory with a late penalty and Wembley Stadium erupts as the fans celebrate. 30 years in the making. The game was up for Reading. Their loss was not just the match, but also an awful lot of money. For any TV sports reporter, delivering in this cauldron of noise is a challenge. To Ollie, it's all in a day's work. Wow, it's all I can say. Uh, half time, I said this was a one sided game, but really, I couldn't have been more wrong. Reading came out playing like a team. They just won the cup final. They were playing like they had nothing to lose. And then, after a clumsy challenge in the box, at around the 79th As Oli struggles to make himself heard, the Swansea team really starts celebrating as they lift the cup, £90 million richer. I can't wait until I do, it was amazing. New experience, really amazing. It was better than I expected, way better than I expected. Oli's day is made by a real scoop, an interview with a key Swansea player in this amazing playoff final. That was a great game. Ollie's work is done, but for Azaz, there's a moment of truth. Will his photos be good enough for a piece in a national kids newspaper? Uh, to be honest, I, I think they're both great pictures. Yeah, so like, yeah. that team. John and Azaz scroll through on a laptop to choose just eight from the 2,000 pictures he shot. But which Azaz photo makes it to print in First News, and which is the one that tells the story of the day? I think that sums up the whole emotion of it and everything, you know. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's got to be that one. Yeah. Absolutely, it has to be that one. Well done. Thanks. Job well done. It's been amazing today. And here it is, as printed in First News Sports section at the beginning of July. In this series, What's Your Goal has seen six incredible young people working behind the scenes of football. Each one has shown they are ready to take on their mentors at their own game. Could you? 